<coughs> so for this one, I'm going first. It does change through some of them. So this is called as well. It's not an exact science, but it is a field of expertise based on green, red, blue, three that make any hue. Watch brushes splash, see the paint of trash, make colours flow, mould and unfold stories untold. Reveal on canvas cloth a vision still through which we are moved, thrilled, distilled, fulfilled. The skill of each stroke is not an, ex an exact science, but it is a field of expertise based on green, red and blue, three that make any hue for you to view and review. Take 60, then 30, add 10 more, include Feng Shi maybe. It all depends on the moon, the colour flow you seek to create. Elegant, calming, focused, cheerful. Their colours, movement, patterns, scale require unique visual weights that attune to certain shapes. The balancing of which is not an exact science, but it is a field of expertise based on green, red and blue. Three that make a million hues, seen in everyday flora, the glow of an individual aura, invisible to most, often unknown to the host. It is our vibe, our energy, that attracts or deters, by which we can be moved, thrilled, distilled, fulfilled. Some auras are awesome, others we feel humdrum. But reading an aura is not an exact science, it is a magnetic field where colours flow and humans play in an endless array of shades of red, orange, yellow and green and everything in between, blue, indigo, violet, as we try to decipher it, a dialect that is not an exact science, but it is a field in which messages can be received and dreams are often revealed. <laughs>